Hi second graders, welcome back to Math Review. So today is April 9th, 2020, and we are gonna jump into today's lesson. Now, for today's lesson, it's really important that you have some scrap paper in front of you and a pencil. Um, let's read number one. Tyler has a collection of shape stickers. For his birthday, he was given a ton of different shape stickers. He got 12 red triangles, nine blue stars, seven yellow squares, and 11 black hearts. Use this information to create your own graph in the space below. Don't forget your labels and a title. So I am gonna use this space below to create a graph, and I wanna give you probably the next three or four minutes to use your scrap paper to create your graph. Now, your job is going to be to create a line that goes horizontal at the bottom to represent <clears throat> the bottom part of your graph where you're gonna put the shape stickers. And then you need to have a line that goes vertical along the side that will represent the number of those stickers. Don't forget to include your labels. Make sure you draw your bars and make sure you also give your graph a title. I'm gonna give you, like I said, probably around four minutes or so to create this graph based off of the information in this problem. And then I'm gonna draw one. And then we have one question that we're gonna answer about it. So why don't you go ahead and get started drawing your bar graph.
Let's do another minute before we go over the bar graph. Don't forget to give your bar graph a title. Okay, let's go over it. So here is my space that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see. Awesome. Now, because you don't have a ruler or anything like that, I don't expect any of this to be perfect. Um, I just want you to try your best when you are doing this. So like I mentioned, you need to have a line that goes vertical along the side here and then a line that goes horizontal over here, like a big L. On the bottom here, that's where we need to represent the number of um, shape, the, the shape stickers, not the number, but the types of shape stickers. So I'm gonna label it as shape stickers. And this side up here is gonna represent the number, and I use this as the number sign, um, the symbol number of shape stickers. And just like we practice at school, I am going to make little lines counting by one. And every time I write a line, I'm gonna label it. My biggest number that I have is 12, so I need to make sure that I have at least 12. Some of you might have added more than 12, that's totally fine, but I need to have at least 12. So if I have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and I have some more space, so I'm just gonna go up until 15, cause that's kind of the amount of space. Notice that the spacing is about the same in between each. And now down here, I have to write down my shape stickers. So I have four different ones. So I'm gonna divide this bottom into four sections. So the first section is going to be the red triangles. In my class, sometimes we use abbreviations. We'll just use the first letter um, of the item that we're talking about. That's totally fine if you did that, um, whatever works for you. I have red triangles first, uh, blue stars, yellow squares, And last one is black hearts. Awesome. So I've included my labels on the bottom and my labels on the side. So that's definitely one of the most important steps. Now, moving forward here, I'm going to draw my bar for the red triangles. When I go into the problem, it says that I have 12, that uh, Tyler got 12 red triangles. So I need to draw a rectangular bar that goes up to the number 12 and touches the bottom. Now we talk a lot in my class about how it's not art class, it's math class, so we're just doing a quick little swirl to fill in that rectangle. And then I'm also gonna label the top of it as 12. This next one, blue stars, in the problem it says nine. So I need to go, over, go up to the number nine and then go over so that I can create my rectangle for my blue stars. I'm gonna label it with number nine. 
Again, these are not perfectly straight lines. Um, I'm just trying my best. The next one are yellow squares. I have seven of them, or Tyler has seven. So I'm gonna go up to seven and go all the way over so I can make my yellow squares, my, uh, yellow, my bar for my yellow squares and labeling it with a seven. And then my last one over here, black hearts, I have 11. So notice my bars are touching. I need to make sure this last one is touching as well. Go up to 11 and go over. It's a little bit taller, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit more work connecting these bars, but that's okay. And labeling that with an 11. So as you can take a look at my bar graph, the bars, they're not perfect, but they're, uh, it definitely shows that I have the most red triangles, 12, then black hearts, then nine blue stars, and seven yellow squares. The one thing that we still have to do is write a title for this graph. So I'm gonna write this my title as Tyler's Shape Stickers because this bar graph represents the different types of shape stickers that Tyler got and the total number of each type. You probably had something similar. You might've even just said shape stickers. That's okay too. So this is what your bar graph should look like. The labels at the bottom and the side, the numbers on the side counting up by ones, and then the different types of shape stickers. Plus your bars should be, four, you should have four rectangular bars and you should have them connected to each other. You also should have them labeled at the top. That's just a really good habit to get into. The second problem for today that we're doing together, and it's the last problem that we're doing together, is a question at the bottom of my page that says, imagine that each shape sticker Tyler got was a group of 10. How many shape stickers did he get all together? So that means, taking a look at our bar graph, not only did he get 12 red triangles, he got 12 groups of 10 red triangles. So I'm gonna um, put this here so that you can see the whole page. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole page. And what I want you to do is I want you to answer question B. I'm gonna read it again on your scrap paper. Do some work to try to figure it out. Imagine that each shape sticker Tyler got was a group of 10. How many shape stickers did he get all together? Show your work. Take about three minutes to try to solve this problem and then we'll go over it together.
Take about one more minute. Okay, let's go over it. So I'm gonna take down my graph, but you should be using the graph to um, help you. I'm gonna see if I can still have the problems here so that you can see them. One second, the actual problem. Let's see if this is strong enough to hold it. Eh, not so much, but that's okay because you have your graph in front of you with the labels on it see if this will zoom in okay perfect all right a little bit blurry thank you for your patience great so I know that Tyler got 12 red triangles RT for red triangles I know that Tyler got nine blue stars I know he got seven yellow squares and 11 black hearts. But this problem is asking me to figure out and imagine that it, he didn't just get 12 red triangles, but he got, tw he got 12 groups of 10 red triangles, 12 groups of 10. So we have to take these numbers and we have to figure out if they were groups of 10, what the value would be. So let's start with just the 12 red triangles. That means 12 groups of 10. So that would be 10 tens plus two tens. 10 tens we know has a value of 100. Two tens we know has a value of 20. You add those together, you're gonna get 120. So he has 120 red triangles. Figured that out. Now let's do the same thing with nine blue stars. Nine groups of 10. Nine groups of 10 equals 90. So he has 90 blue stars. The next thing is seven yellow squares, seven tens. What's the value of seven tens? 70. So he actually has 70 yellow squares. And the last one, 11 black hearts means 11 tens. So thinking about that, we're talking 10 tens plus one ten. We know ten tens has a value of 100 and one ten has a value of 10. You add them together, you get 110. So we just figured out that he has 120 red triangles, 90 blue stars, 70 yellow squares, and 110 black hearts. And our job is going to be to add these numbers together. So when I take a look here, I'm looking to see if any of my numbers, so these all these numbers end in zero. So when I'm adding numbers together, especially um, when I'm adding three numbers or four numbers, I want to look for numbers that make a friendly 10. All of these numbers are a friendly 10. So now I want to look at if any of these numbers would make a friendly 100 and two of them would make a friendly 100 because 90 or 9 tens and 10 or 110, if you add them together, that equals 100. So 110 plus 90 equals 
200. 90 plus 10 is 100, and then you add another 100 to it, you get 200. Now I'm gonna add my other two numbers, 120 plus 70. 20 plus 70 is 90, plus 100 equals 190. So now I have to figure out what 190 and 200 make. I could do this a couple of ways. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see it. I could do a quick algorithm or I could just add in my head these two numbers together. It doesn't matter for me which one you do, it's whatever works for you. Here's a quick algorithm. Zero and zero make zero, zero plus nine make nine, and two plus one make three. So if Tyler, every sticker Tyler got represented a group of 10, he would have received 390 stickers, and that's the answer to number two. Awesome. So now at this point, you are going to work on the independent problems the exit ticket, it's labeled as exit ticket, and I want you to do them on scrap paper. When you are done with your scrap paper, when you're gonna add your response and upload it, please, please, please make sure that when you take that picture, you are enlarging the picture after you take it. And that's the best way for your teachers to be able to see the photo. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to your teacher about that. It's the easiest way for us to see your work and it's gonna be the easiest way for us to help you um, get better and stronger at math. Awesome, I will see you guys tomorrow with another math video.